Dr. Mary Gillis joins me now with some health headlines. Hey, Mary, we're talking some big news with ALS first, right? Yes, big time. Yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. The FDA has approved a new therapy for ALS. It's called Relivrio, and it has been shown to slow the devastating paralysis caused by ALS, also called Lou Gehrig's disease. A study showing the effectiveness of the medication was funded par in part by, okay, get this, guys, raised from the ALS ice bucket challenge that wow. swept social media in 2014. That study was small, and the therapy is still considered experimental. But the FDA approved it without a large-scale clinical trial because the drug has been shown to be safe despite questions about its effectiveness. Patients, advocacy groups, and physicians urge the FDA to approve it quickly because there are a few other options to um, treat this life-threatening disease. But it doesn't come cheap. The drug maker announced it will cost about $12,000 a month, which is $158,000 a year. However, the company does expect insurance to cover most of it, if not all of the costs. It should be available in the U.S. in the next four to six weeks. All right. That's a good one. That's good news. Yeah, social media for the good, right? Yeah. Using social media. Yeah. And, so, and I remember how popular it was. Did you do it? Yes, I did. Okay. It was cold. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next one. Going to the grocery store and grabbing something labeled healthy should mean it's sort of it's healthy, right? Well, not necessarily. There are new standards in the works that foods have to meet before the healthy label can get stamped on its packages. That's because healthy is a regulated claim, which was first defined in 1994. But the FDA says things have changed since then, so the standards need to change too. For example, there are some cereals that have a lot of sugar added, uh, but still meet the definition of the healthy claim, while salmon, which is high in beneficial polyunsaturated fat, does not. This new healthy claim would consider all of the nutrients in foods. Mm. Well, you know what? I I'm just impressed that you said polyunsaturated just effortlessly. <laughs> I'm just, that's what I gathered from that segment right there. <laughs> Oh, Randall. Okay, you ready for this one? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Let's do it. All right. Your dog knows when you're stressed. According to a new study, they can sniff out chemical changes that occur when your mood shifts emitted in your breath and sweat. Scientists at Queen's University in Belfast, Ireland, got four dogs, Trio, Fingal, Suit, and Winnie, to sniff samples of the bodily fluids taken from stressed and relaxed people. They were able to tell the difference with an accuracy of 94%. Lead study author and PhD student at the university said in an interview, this is the first study of its kind, and it provides evidence that dogs can smell stress from breath and sweat alone, which can be useful when training service and therapy dogs. Oh, that's cool. That is super cool. I always think that my dog is looking at me and just knows, but yeah. he's, he's smelling me, and he's like, Mary, what's going on? That's Are you crazy. okay? That's crazy. They, they sense it. Yeah, and that's I'm like, so dude, cool. I'm not okay. How did you know? That is so cool. And I smell it, yeah. <laughs> well, what was your favorite one out of all those headlines? I feel like the dog one was cool. The dog one was super cool. Yeah. I am loving ALS uh, yeah. and the challenge. Yeah. That, I mean, big developments with ALS, and that means, you know, that social media yeah, challenge really Yeah, let's keep off. doing it, guys. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, right. Mary. Oh, thank you, Randall. Appreciate it.